There is absolutely nothing logical about the uh, setup here for getting gas. It's such a pain in the ass to get gas. Back in the Mark Twain National Forest. Oh, you know what? I've been. I've, uh, I'm the Cassville District. The road's 1171 Scroggins Ridge. But I've actually been to the entrance of this because I stopped and pulled up here by the Mark Twain sign. <laughs> Up Highway 76. I took a little forest road. Bye. Sorry about that. Oh yeah, I've been here. This is where I got totally covered in burrs. I was here in the summer. Though. Damn it! Stop for one quick shot on a stupid side. Ah, it's all over my socks too. Damn burrs. So hey, let's go. Let's go see the sign. Be fun. So this is Highway 76. This is Mark Twain National Forest sign. Highway 76 and the turn to Scroggins Ridge is right up there. And there's my car. It didn't do this, this drive last time. I'd been out in the forest a couple days, so I was, and the timing was such that I needed to get out. So, uh, so I knew I'd come back and uh, today is that day, I suppose. Campsite. Bunch, bunch of trash, rough shingles scattered all over the floor, the ground. <sighs> Good campsite. It's like a pad for your uh, trailer. Yeah, I read there was several creek crossings. I don't think they've had much rain down here in the past past few. Deer went, oh, there it goes. I thought there might be more, and there wasn't. Oh, is this the trail or is this the trail? Well, that takes you back to the road. This goes down dead end. I talked to them a second. I should have, should have asked who they are. That guy looked really familiar. Okay, man, when I come back down, I would definitely go. They said they would move for me to, to follow that trail to the dead end. I wanted to come up here anyway first. So we're checking this out first and we'll come back down on our way out. You know, it's winter, it's gray, it's brown. It is what it is. So you don't get the colors. But what you also don't get is the intense humidity that comes with any amount of heat. So, but if you plan it right and you're near water that you want to want to and can get into, you can cool it off that way. So yeah, we're in the Ozarks. You can't go to you know you can't drop the temperature by going up the side of a mountain. 
I'm going up the side of a mountain now. I'm not going to feel any temperature drop because the mountain's maybe a thousand feet high if you're if you're lucky. So we're on section 10, which I think said it was road 1063. So 1171, and then I take a hard left going up another ridge, uh, 1063. And I have just marked a couple points on my map that I want to try to make it to. So that's what I'm doing up, up this. And then so that was the van. They just they are going where I'm going now, towards Big M. And uh, so on my way back down, I'll go check out where they were. And this is a beautiful campsite. Man, I should mark this one because you're, you're up on a little bit of a ridge. You see, that's south. In the summertime, you would just be shaded like crazy, and you're looking north. And there's trees, but there's not, like, trees all over the place. So you get a, get a view, you know. So, so here's your campsite, campfire. You can put tents back there. If there's plenty of room for vehicles. I kept telling myself as I was leaving, don't forget to get your boots, my other boots, my hiking boots, my crappy get muddy boots. So what did I do? Forgot to get my boots. Then I might as well get this over with. You don't want it to feel like it's a job, man. <laughs> you don't have to do this. But it'll soften it up and make a much friendlier ride, right? I wonder how many times people have swallowed these. Let's say at least a thousand times a year. I wonder if anybody's died from them. Can't imagine. You just digest these right out, I would think. I'm still at this little campsite. So there, there's where I was parked, where I am parked. And there's a tent site like right here and a little tiny path. And you're right here on this ridge, and the road is right there. That's that's good and bad, you know. So I don't know how much use this gets during the summer, or how busy it is. So, I mean, you like to get these campsites to get away from everybody. I have people driving by every second looking for campsites, but but if you got enough people, it's like you kind of do what you want, but it's kind of not cool. So yeah, there's a little path here tent area and then here's the, the fire ring and the where I parked so I'm, I'm editing the other day and uh, I swear every shot this green water and it sticks out it's not like it's almost like neonish rubbermaid it's so old i've taken it everywhere this thing's broken off it used to have a handle right here i broke off i left it somewhere one time went all the way back to get it i left it in one other place another time and made a phone call say hey can you put that away so i can come back and get it excuse me but anyway i just drank all this that's why i might be be a fun drinking game hey hey drink every time you catch this water bottle and a shot okay so I'm almost to the point where this uh, section 10 the 1063 I think it was and you take it right onto bean 1003 1003 sounds better to call it 1003 for some reason oh and here it is good Wait a minute, or is that it? Wait a minute, I got my bearing straight. I always do north up and sometimes it, okay. 1003. 1003 or bean as it says on Onyx maps. Oh, there they are, I'm passing my buddies again. Fancy meeting you here. Yeah. I don't know why you look familiar. Wanted by the FBI. Okay, well then I won't tell them you were here. How about you? <laughs> You're definitely FBI. Yeah. There you go. So where, where does this go, just dead ends? It goes up there to that overlook. It okay. Used, it used to go, you'll see there's a red sign there that all the four-wheelers use that takes you down, takes oh. you down to the parking lot. That used to be the way in, was from that side, come up across here. Years ago, they had a lot of really cool stuff down here. 
Well, back in the day, you'd stop there at 86 and 76, and uh, you'd buy the map for seven dollars, and it was you know as big as the hood on your Jeep. And, well, the, the logging companies have come in and, and they, they put the roads down so they log the thing. Oh. And maintain it. Then, you know. But that's cool what he was saying though. 20 years ago, you buy a map. You got a map to all these trails out here. They weren't this well kept. I mean, this is easy. This is super easy. He's got a great point. You can come through here and your Buick Skylark, and but that that is a lot more of an adventure. It's just, just hey, we're gonna go take out check out Scroggins Ridge. Okay, you know where to start, right? Yeah, start here. You get a map and then you check it out. So there's no cheating. <laughs> I'm looking at Onyx maps. I'm completely cheating. This is cheating. You know. Everyone's okay with that. There's a new normal now, you know, because everything's based on what people have shared and what maps show you on the internet. So coming from his perspective, say 20 years ago, when you really had to earn it to get out here and find trails and when you couldn't share it with other people, well, let's just have all these people coming out here, out on these trails, still take care of our public lands and follow the rules. I mean, it's not hard, you know, and then pick up some trash. There shouldn't be any trash out here. Everything should be picked up. at the end of 10.03 uh, and it's kind of a lookout. The drive here, there was a kind of a better lookout while driving that there was really no place to pull off. Yeah, so we made it to the end. But it's definitely a dead end and there's no camp spots. So I'm gonna go back the way I came, I suppose, and uh, enjoy the drive. Backtracking past this on the way out. <clears throat> road closed, old, old road. So let's hike it. This is the, I wanted to do a little little walk. So this is my walk, I guess, for the day. So we'll see you in a little bit, car. Please be there when we get back. I'm guessing a quarter mile each way. It's going up to uh, maybe even a lookout. It's kind of gets you right above that campsite that I was parked at for a little while, that first big campsite that I saw. You're right above it, sort of. Okay, I've kind of got to the, the top-ish. Didn't end, so it's going back down the other side a little bit. I'll go a little farther. I would assume that campsite is right down that hill. So this used to be a road. So the, it pretty much ends here. You can tell this is just where rainwater just flows right on down when there's a good storm. And I'm sure this goes all the way down. So if you came to that site and you just want to go for a walk in the evening, could do a loop, hit the road, and come back down. So when I drive back down past that campsite, I'll kind of look along the road, to see if the there's a little trail slash old road. So I'm headed back. I saw what I saw. So I've had bad coffee in my time, but I mean, really, I mean, you know, every coffee is good to an extent, but the bad, the worst coffee I've ever had would just be old coffee. Old beans, you know, something that's been ground already and sitting around, AKA camp box coffee. And what, uh, surely throughout 
all of our history as human homo sapien types. Somebody has taken droppings like that and uh, maybe roasted them and then done something to them and drank it or ate it. I mean, how do you think they found mushrooms, you know? I would assume if you tried to roast that and grind it up, brew it, it probably would be like some kind of hallucinogenic effect. And then it would probably kill you, so. I would not want to be the guinea pig for that. And I assume it's, it's been done. Safe to say, most everything's been done. Just think of all the things that people have discovered. Just happened upon it, you know? And then science, you know, where they actually use hypotheses and then try different experiments, blah, 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 fail a lot of times, and then finally succeed. Jesus Christ, where's my car? trail full of water just following the rock rock creek this little creek down here is super clear it's all rocky so it's not stirring up tons of sediment mud Missouri mud I'm just going out the way I came it's not really uh, I like this drive coming in you start on a ridge for not very long and then you dip right on down the side of the ridge and you have all these little creek crossings like that one. It's like a wall. Let's check this out. Okay, well, I didn't see that. I saw this initially. <clears throat> foundation there wall Ugh. Oh, and thorns so I'm gonna stand here and battle the thorns while I video Shh. ah Okay, that one attacked me, and then that one attacked me while I was trying to escape. Okay, back to the wall. We don't need no education. Ah! Ah! So we got a wall. We still have a wall. So 
Why? Why do we have a wall, everybody? I don't see like a foundation around here, like, or maybe we think the foundation would go out this way because this was a corner, right? Again, something, I mean, you find this stuff and you want to go back and read up on it. So these rocks that are just kind of scattered were probably once part of the wall. The uh, forest of the Midwest has eaten it alive. Here's more. Those are just natural rocks sticking out of the earth there. Yeah, this is like a collapsed wall here. I don't know anything. I'm guessing this is, these walls were here before this became National Forest, I'm gonna assume. So this is maybe just somebody's property. Back at the beginning here, Highway 76. That was fun, that was, that was good, that was nice, that was neat, that was simple, easy, beautifuls. At one campsite, it was pretty epic. We take a right on 76 and there is another trail down here called Rock Creek Ridge. All right, there's a car behind me, so I gotta actually drive by. Okay, here we are, and we're already. <laughs> Damn it, I mean, I, I can't. I got my loppers. I mean, I can get a lot of that stuff cut down. This ain't gonna work. Oh my God. Ah. These are thorns too. It looks like a nice trail. That sucks. I don't know why I was thinking. I can't reach that. Oh, but I'll be under. I just get these little, there's a thousand. It's a, just one big tree, bigger tree that fell and pushed all this brush down. And up here, it's just a clear gravel. It looks really simple. You know, it looks clear, it looks nice, so but I don't have a chainsaw or anything. And even if I did, getting back in, I mean, it would just take an hour. No, I don't have an hour, I'm sorry. For our service, we'll get it one of these days, hopefully. Now the dangerous part of all this is getting back on Highway 76. The pull in for this is on this curb. And then pulling in here, like someone comes wailing around the corner. I mean, hold on, check this out. People are just coming around this corner at Mach 6, you know? And then coming this way, Mach 6. So, wow, this is gonna be fun. I'll just video the whole thing, then I'll put my seatbelt on. Go! Huh, do it, hurrah, yeah, you gotta believe. Oh, see, see? That was a Toyota. He was going at a, a reasonable speed. All right, we did it. All right, this is Forest Road 1182. My prediction is it's gonna be great for 100 yards, and then it'll turn into Brush City. Because 99% of the time, that's accurate. So, there's campsite. Cool. So this is the setup without the, I don't have the ladder. So I'm just gonna use, this is my door. I like having the ladder, and, but then again, I also not I like not having it. What the f What am I saying? I also like not having it because that's one less thing to have. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway, so this is pretty handy, but I got these things locked into place like faster than I ever have. I think the tent's just becoming more loose as it's getting used, so I, mean, I still had to push like crazy and being short. You know, standing here, I was able to get it. And I can't reach that, like if I can reach that, but I got both hands on this and that pin popped right into place. So that's good. 
piece of cake, right? I'm not even gonna open the other windows. It's gonna get chilly tonight, so don't need it yet. There's a big old turkey vulture. I just picked a little campsite, no big deal. It's pretty close to the road, actually. I don't care. A lot of cars on 76 here. It's rush hour. Anyway, beautiful day. That's an interesting tree. I can just stand here and find things. Why is that like that? What is this? I never know the answer, and I'm okay with that. Like, what is going on here, man? Like, two trees grew to... I don't even know. First, I thought two trees grew together. And this one's obviously a lot, but that was true. Wouldn't this be, is this, see, this is not dead. So if two trees grew together, and this, this one's not, you know, has no roots, so it would be dead, right? So that's not the case at all. It just somehow grew up, and then one appendage started growing down. I'm gonna grow down, man. So there you go. I'm not gonna conform to your tree schematics. It's comedic that that is so interesting to me. It's really not, because that's, that's interesting. It's strange, right? Well, this happens all the time. It's because of the blah, blah, blah that occurs in the thing in the region of the stuff. Now I'm looking for other wacky trees. I don't see any. Gross. And since the highway is so close, I put my, <laughs> my big ass reflector pointing away from the highway, so at least people driving on the highway don't, don't see, what's that back in the woods? Let's go kill him. Now they'll just kill me from this side. But the foreigner's silver, so. As long as there's no light shining, the, you know, the, the roof of the tent's not gonna reflect. But I, I like, I mean, I don't care, I like it. If I really am uncomfortable with it, like, and I think people are going to see the reflection and come kill me, then I will, I would cover it, right? So I got tarps, I got whatever but I don't ever anticipate needing to do that. I'm not gonna ever have to be that stealth, I hope. And if I do, I'm in the wrong place. So, but I like the re reflectivity. They made this in black too, but I'd rather have that reflecting the sun in the summer as opposed to absorbing the sun, absorbing the heat. Hmm. Well, for about. So. Goodness gracious, me oh my. <clears throat> What we need to do now is stretch out. A little stretch, a little sitting all day. It's time to stretch kind of thing. So that's what we're doing. Everybody should. You gotta put your card in, and then some pumps nowadays you gotta leave it in. Some pumps you just do it quick, and then you got your hand here, you got there, and, you gotta, and then you gotta wait. And you always have to say, hey, am I gonna use points or whatever? And even if you're not, you know, if you, even, if you, even if you don't, haven't even signed up for that crap, so you gotta put, where's the no button? And then you gotta do, and then you gotta and finally it reads your card and finally decides it wants to let you buy gas. And then you gotta, okay, now select your thing. And in the meantime, you know, I try to beat it to the punch and get this thing in here first to get the pump going and blah, 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 blah. Get it in there and then and by the time this thing's done, I'm ready to go, right? But sometimes it's faster than me. It's like a race against time. And then, and then you select your, your gas and, oh man, it's, man, there's gotta be an easier way. You walk up, you scan your eyeball, you put the gas in, you go home. I don't know, something, I don't know. Somebody work on that, thanks. Bye. Just juggling things and a credit card. It's just not, you know, hold on. Freaking crap! I mean, I get, it could be a lot worse. I and mean, it used to be a lot worse. You have to go in and you, you deal with you know, cash. And you drop your cash. And can you imagine if you had to put cash or like a like one of those things where you want to get change, get your quarters for your dollar bill? If you had to do that, <laughs> okay, maybe if you put a fifty in, then you get back your change in like pennies. You know, it could always be worse. Just keep that in mind. It could always be worse. Always be worse. Stop, stop bitching. First world problems. Ah! Oh, fuck off.